That's a ticket, baby. Got another one on the trigger spoon, guys. Probably 10 minutes later. Trigger spoon guys, that same one, that uh, purple UV right there. Nice king, awesome. Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. I am out on the troll here in the Sierras. I am hooking some rainbow trout and having a good old time with Lucy. It is time for a Northern and Central California fishing report. Um, I've got four destinations for you folks that are really, really good. Let's start off with Lake Berryessa. Lake Berryessa, best trolling lake in the state right now, this week, even though we got the full moon. Um, fishing is just exceptional for trout, rainbow trout, those big Eagle Lake strain rainbows that have been biting out there at Berryessa since Christmas time. And uh, now kings have gotten in the mix too. Um, top end rainbows go four and a half to five pounds. Average fish, one and a half to two. Um, on the king side, average fish is probably two. Um, a lot of fish are ranging up to four. And my young buddy, Elias, he went out with Big Nate the other day and he got a seven pound beast of a landlocked king. So, you wanna take your own boat out there, you wanna hook up at Berryessa, what are you going to do? Depths, speeds, lures, all that kind of stuff. So, Big Nate and a lot of other folks, they are concentrating on working the main body and they are doing it with, with spoons pulled fast in say the top 25 feet of the water column, some days a little bit deeper. Sometimes the planer boards pay off big time. A lot of guys are pulling the speedy shiners out there, various colors. Um, guys are scoring uh, well with speed spoons as well as trigger spoons. But remember, if you're out there on that trout bite and they don't seem to be responding to the fast stuff or responding as well as you think they should be, don't hesitate to break out the smaller stuff. Barry S is a shad lake. Um, you know, the, the little Cleo type spoons, trigger spoon juniors, um, that kind of stuff. My biggest trout ever from Berryessa was over five pounds, came on that trigger spoon junior. But uh, the point is, if they're not going for the fast stuff, or you don't think they're, they're going for the fast stuff, you know, as well as they should be, don't hesitate to slow down into that 1.8 to 2.2 mile an hour range. What is fast out there? I didn't mention the speed. Well, you're looking at anywhere from about 2.6 all the way up to three and a half. That's how fast the guys are pulling the speedies, the speed spoons, stuff like that. When I was out there with my buddy Abdul, oh, probably 10 days ago now, we did real well on trigger spoons, pulled 2.6, 2.7. Um, we got our fish in the arm um, up by the power lines. Um, in the, they call that the narrows at Berryessa. Um, we were down about 25 to 30 feet deep and we were keeping the boat over 90 feet of water. That was our recipe for success. Um, we caught mostly kings, but we did get a couple really nice rainbows. I think on a day we probably had like a dozen fish. We caught fish in the main body. They were a smaller grade of fish. So Berryessa, big place, big lake. You gotta get out there, you gotta find them. I've heard of people catching kinks as deep as 70 feet down, but I would say, by and large, the best action right now is from about 10 feet deep, maybe eight feet deep, all the way down to 35 or 40 feet deep. Um, the kings, if you just wanna target the kings, the kings will absolutely respond to king gear. Rig shad, rigged anchovies, blades and hoochies, stuff like that. But most of the kings out there honestly are being caught incidentally to guys targeting the trout. Let's move on. Let's move on to New Maloney's Reservoir. Biggest kokanee in the state, bar none. They are getting fish that are just a whisker short of 20 inches. 
average fish out there, 16 to 17 inches right now. The area by the dam is, is, has been good. If you decide to head on down there, well, don't hesitate to take your own boat. Find the flotilla. <coughs> Excuse me, guys that are fishing it all the time, they're gonna know where the Koki are. Just kinda, kinda blend in with those guys. Um, anywhere from 25 to 50 feet deep, that's been the, that's been the depth. Um, one of our customers, one of, one of the guys that's been out in the guide boat with me, Peter, he has been going down there and he has been banging uh, Big Kokanee out of his kayak. And uh, he tells me that the um, pink spinners, micro hoochies teamed up with my Diamondback Dodgers are working well. He's been using my little mini turbo. Um, he's using two beads with that, double hook leader, tipping it with corn and uh, that's been one of his top offerings. Um, the Diamondback Dodger has a very unique action. It, it does have a kicking action, but not as pronounced of a kick as a lot of other Dodgers. It's kind of a hybrid Dodger. Um, it has a really tight rolling twisting action. It's very unique. Um, Peter told me start out in the morning with the chrome, then he transitions into the pink colors on, on the blades. So, and that makes sense. Usually, you know, kokanee bite, start off, they'll hit the chrome. Then when you get a higher sun, kind of kind of back off the chrome and get into more colored blades, more subdued presentations. Um, he has been putting bloody tuna procure on his corn and uh, that's been working well. Um, there's several guides working down there if you don't want to take your own boat down there. But uh, the bottom line is, if you want to get into some really nice kokanee, New Maloney's is the place. It's been pretty consistent. Limits a lot of days. Some days it's been tougher. But guys are getting anywhere from, you know, three to five fish per day pretty consistently. And those are big, awesome eating size kokanee. Let's go north. Lake Shasta. Uh, Lake Shasta is fishing really well for guys pulling spoons speed spoons, speedy shiners, uh, trigger spoons, all that stuff is working. Speed range, two and a half to three and a half miles an hour. If you want to slow down, by all means, team your spoons, uh, go with some sm uh, smaller, slower moving spoons, trigger spoon juniors, cast masters, the old rainbow runner, whatever. Pair them with the fish eye dodgers. Get that spoon 30 inches behind the dodger and you're gonna be yelling fish on. But you know, you're gonna score just fine up there with a naked spoon. Shad patterns, it's a big lake obviously and it's brim full. Cruise around, cover ground, find the fish. When you find them, they'll usually be concentrated off a point or in a cove or wherever. Grind on them until they give you a reason to move on and find more fish. That's the key at Shasta. Um, but my buddy Robert Howard, he's been up there with his uh, with his girlfriend. They've been doing very well. He's got a patio boat up there. He's semi-retired. And uh, they've been banging really nice fish every day. Mostly rainbows in that two to four pound range, but there are plenty of browns mixed in. And some of them are really jumbo. You know, we're talking fish five, six, seven pounds at times. So. If you're up in the north part of the state or you want to take a destination trip, by all means, Shasta should be high on your list. And Whiskey Town is right next door. Kokanee action at Whiskey Town has been outstanding. So, have I planted the seed? Is it time for a road trip? Maybe. Maybe go up to Shasta, take your trigger spoons, take your kokanee gear, take some blades, and uh, you are going to be catching some fish. Fourth choice, and this is a broader choice, Sierra trout. I'm on a very small lake today, probably put a dozen trout in the net, pan-sized rainbows. They're hungry, they're feisty, and you're gonna find this kind of action throughout the Sierras, and you're gonna be able to follow that action up elevation as it gets warmer and warmer. So, right now I'm here, I'm about 3,000 feet. I am enjoying absolutely awesome spring-style fishing. This time of the year in the Sierras, you have the luxury of banging them with hardware. They're hungry, they're aggressive, they wanna go. Trigger spoons, trigger spoon juniors, and trolling flies. You don't have to get all finessey at this, at this point in the year if you're up in the Sierras. Pick out a lake or two lakes that you know have trout in them, lakes that maybe you fished in the past. Get the spoons out, get the flies out, cover ground, 
find those fish they're going to be willing strikers um, you know they've been hungry all winter the water temperature is getting into that comfort range they're feeling frisky they're feeling feisty and they want to get on that hardware so troll fast be aggressive and uh, you're going to have a lot of fun that's it for now there are a lot more good bites you know beyond the ones that i just mentioned you know Folsom Lake, King Salmon, excellent, awesome action, halibut in the bay, stripers in the river. It's springtime in California. Enough said, guys. If you're looking for any of the gear I mentioned, any of the gear from my lineup, whether it's trigger spoons, trolling flies, lead core rods, or whatever, you know where to go. F H S fishing.com. Check out my store. We will get the gear to you quickly, and you'll be out on the water yelling, fish on, baby. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube, guys. Thanks for all the support.